Today we will discuss about the ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA or RNA. This term ribosomal RNA it was given by Kurland. And this ribosomal RNA, the term ribosomal RNA is given by Kurland. Ribosomal RNA is the uh, most stable type of RNA. This ribosomal RNA it is most stable type of RNA. Among uh, these RNAs we have messenger RNA, we have transfer RNA. This ribosomal RNA is the most stable type of RNA. Most stable type of RNA. And this uh, ribosomal RNA, it accounts for about 80% of the total cellular RNA. And that means it constitutes about total 80% of total RNA content of the cell. 80% of total cellular RNA. That means if uh, we have 100%, you can consider that if we have got 100% RNA in the cell out of 100% this 80% uh, is contributed by ribosomal RNA so we can say that this ribosomal RNA it is the most common and most abundant type of RNA in a cell most abundant most abundant type of RNA in a cell most abundant type of RNA in a cell This is the this ribosomal RNA. It is the largest RNA type. Another point is it is the largest RNA type. This is the largest RNA type. This uh, ribosomal RNA it is also known as insoluble RNA. Ribosomal RNA also known as also known as insoluble RNA. Insoluble. RNA. Ribosomal RNA is also known as insoluble RNA. This ribosomal RNA it is present in ribosomal subunits of ribosomes. We know that ribosomes are protein synthesizing machines and this ribosomal RNA is found in uh, ribosomal subunits. So we, uh, this is ribosomal RNA. It is found in ribosomal subunits ribosomal subunits it is found in ribosomal subunits um, basically we have larger subunit of uh, ribosome and we have two types of ribosomes one is uh, prokaryotic ribosome another is eukaryotic ribosome that is 70s type of ribosome and 80s type of ribosome in all the types of ribosomes whether it is 70s type of ribosome or it is 80s type of uh, ribosome this ribosomal uh, protein this ribosomal RNA and ribosomal protein are present in these ribosomal ribosomal subunits so this uh, ribosomes we can say that this uh, ribosomal subunits they are basically composed of two components one is called as ribosomal RNA ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins ribosomal proteins so these are two basic components of the ribosomes these are basic components of the ribosomes one is ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins these ribosomal RNA uh, these have got catalytic uh, role in these uh, uh, these ribosomal RNA they have got catalytic role in the ribosomal subunits they have got catalytic role These ribosomal RNA, they have got enzymatic role, yeah, catalytic role in ribosomal subunits. These uh, ribosomes are protein synthesizing machines. And what are the pro ribosomes? Ribosomes are protein synthesizing machines. Ribosomes, they are, these are protein, protein, Synthesizing machines, machines, a protein synthesizing factories. 
these uh, uh, ribosomal subunits they are composed of two components one is ribosomal rna another is ribosomal proteins and these two together constitute the ribosomes these uh, ribosomes these ribosomes are assembled in nucleolus ribosomes these are assembled wire in the nucleolus the nucleolus that means these ribosomal subunits i told you that ribosomes are composed of ribosomal subunits and these ribosomal subunits are are assembled in the nucleolus these subunits are assembled in the nucleus we have 50s subunit of ribosome we have 30s subunit of ribosome we have 60s uh, subunit of ribosome we have 40s rib type of 40s uh, subunit of ribosome in case of eukaryotes so these uh, ribosomes are uh, assembled in nucleolus these ribosomes are assembled in nucleolus then we have got another point that means if these ribosomal rna ribosomal rna it is basically synthesized in the in the nucleolus it is synthesized in nucleolus nucleolus and these there there are specific genes present on the nuclear organizing region of the chromosome and these genes synthesize this ribosomal rna this uh, there is a specific region known as nuclear organizing region on a chromosome and from this site from these genes which are present in the nuclear organizing region of chromosome or chromatin this ribosomal rna is synthesized nuclear organizing region this nuclear region of the chromosome it synthesizes ribosomal rna so what i mean to say is that uh, this uh, ribosomal rna it is synthesized from the genes from the specific genes which are present in the nuclear organizing region of the chromosome and uh, these ribosomal rnas uh, in combination with the ribosomal proteins are assembled in the nucleolus so these nucleolus are also called as they are called as protein these are uh, these uh, nucleolus it is called as ribosome factory nucleolus known as ribosome factory ribosome factory this nucleolus is known as ribosome factory basically uh, because of the fact that these uh, these uh, ribosomes or these ribosomal subunits are assembled in nucleolus that is why it is called as ribosome factory then we have another point this uh, this ribos uh, these uh, ribosomes it means that ribosomal rna it is present in ribosomes that is why it is called as ribosomal rna because of its presence in ribosomes this or this type of rna is called as ribosomal rna and we know that ribosomes are how you can define the ribosome what are ribosomes ribosomes are ribosomes are nucleoprotein particles nucleoprotein particles ribosomes are nucleoprotein particles so it means that uh, the genes for synthesizing the ribosomal rna are present in the nucleolus the genes uh, which synthesize the ribosomal rna that are present in nucleolus so nucleolus is actively uh, involved with the synthesis of ribosomal rna and in the chromosome there is a specific there is a specific uh, region what is called as nuclear organizing region uh, of the chromosome and this uh, this is responsible for synthesis of ribosomal rna then we have got two types of uh, ribosomes are ribonucleoprotein particles and these ribosomes are found in prokaryotes as well as 
in eukaryotes because proteins are required in both prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes so we have got two types of we have got two types of uh, We have got two types of ribosomes. We have got two types of ribosomes. One is called as uh, ribosomes. These are this is a ribosome, and this is this is large subunit of ribosome. This is a ribosome. This ribosome is composed of ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins so these are called as uh, rib these are called as nucleoprotein particles ribosomes are known as uh, nucleoprotein particles which are actively involved in uh, protein synthesis so these ribosomes are known as protein synthesizing machines we have large subunit of ribosome large ribosomal subunit and this is smaller ribosomal subunit ribosomal subunit with larger subunit of ribosome smaller subunit of ribosome in case of prokaryotes we we'll see prokaryotes prokaryotic ribosomes will again see prokaryotic ribosomes these prokaryotic ribosomes are these prokaryotic ribosomes are just 70s this S represents the sedimentation coefficient, yeah, Severberg unit. It represents the rate at which these particles settle down in a centrifuge. That is called as uh, Severberg unit S or sedimentation coefficient. So this uh, prokaryotic ribosome, it is 70 S. This uh, prokaryotic ribosome, it is 70 S, and uh, there are two uh, subunits of this. We have got two subunits of this. One is called as uh, 50S subunit, 50S subunit, and another is called 30S subunit. So we have got 30S subunit. One is called as 50S subunit, and another is called as 30S subunit. I told you that these subunits, ribosomal subunits, they are simply composed of of uh, ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins. So we have got what type of ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins? So we have here 23S ribosomal RNA is present here. 5S ribosomal RNA is present here. And 30, 32 different ribosomal proteins, 32 different ribosomal proteins so this 50s uh, subunit of ribosome it is having uh, two types two components one is ribosomal rna and ribosomal proteins so it has got 23s ribosomal rna i told you that this s simply it represents the sedimentation coefficient or Severberg unit it represents the rate at which the particles settle down in a centrifuge that is called as 23s ribosomal rna 5s ribosomal rna and 32 different uh, ribosomal proteins in case of 50s subunit of the ribosome and this is one of the subunit of prokaryotic ribosome then you have got another uh, what is 30s subunit of the ribosome it has also two components one is um, ribosomal rna and then ribosomal proteins and ribosomal rna we find here that is 16s ribosomal rna 16s ribosomal rna 16s ribosomal rna we find here and we find here 21 different 21 different types of ribosomal proteins so in the small subunit of the ribosome that is in small subunit of the ribosome that is in 30s subunit of the of the prokaryotic ribosome we find that there are two components uh, ribosomal rna and ribosomal protein ribosomal rna is uh, what type of ribosomal rna is present here uh, that is 
16S ribosomal RNA is present here and what type of ribosomal proteins exist here that is uh, 21 different ribosomal proteins exist in the uh, 30S subunit of the ribosome. Then uh, we have got another type that is uh, eukaryotic ribosome, eukaryotic ribosome. Eukaryotic ribosome. This uh, eukaryotic ribosome it is found in eukaryotes, including we people. Eukaryotic ribosome. Eukaryotic ribosome. This eukaryotic ribosome. This eukaryotic ribosome. It is ATS type. It is this eukaryotic ribosome. It is ATS type. It is ATS type. ATS ribosomes. ATS ribosomes, yeah, ATS type ribosome, and it has also two subunits. As I told you that a ribosome has two components. One is larger subunit of ribosome, another is smaller subunit of ribosome. And in these uh, larger subunit and in the smaller subunit, what we find? We find ribosomal RNA, ribosomal RNA plus ribosomal proteins. In the smaller subunit, we also found ribosomal RNA plus ribosomal proteins. Now, different types of ribosomal RNAs are present in smaller subunit of ribosome and uh, larger subunit of ribosome. Same is the case, different types of ribosomal proteins exist in smaller subunit of ribosome and larger subunit of ribosome. So, we have got what? We have got two uh, subunits of the eukaryotic ribosome. That is, we have got it is 60S subunit of ribosome, and another is 40S ribosomal subunit. We have 60S, and we have another is 40S ribosomal subunit. 40S ribosomal subunit. Subunit. 40S ribosomal subunit and, and we have two component we have three components here three types of, of uh, components one is see we we have got here rib, uh, here ribosomal RNA and ribosomal protein exist but they are of different types what we find here it is having 5S 5S ribosomal RNA it is having 5S ribosomal RNA, it is having 5.8S ribosomal RNA, 5.8S ribosomal RNA and it is having another component that is ribosomal proteins and uh, it is having another ribosomal RNA that is 28S ribosomal RNA, 28S uh, ribosomal RNA, 28S ribosomal RNA, 28S ribosomal RNA and this it has got ribosomal protein and there are 50 different ribosomal proteins in the 60S subunit of ribosome. So we can say that the 60 uh, different, different ribosomal proteins, 60 different ribosomal proteins exist in the larger subunit of ribosome that is uh, 60s uh, subunit of ribosome so this is called as 60s larger subunit of ribosome then we have got uh, these uh, 40s uh, 40s subunit of ribosome obviously uh, how many components are there there are two types of components one is ribosomal rna and ribosomal proteins uh, what type of ribosomal rna we find here we find here 18 we find here 18 18s we find here 18 S we find here 18 S we find here 18 S ribosomal RNA and we find here we find here uh, 33 different ribosomal proteins we find here 33 different ribosomal proteins 33 different ribosomal proteins 33 different ribosomal protein. So these were the ribosomal RNA. You you have seen yourself that these ribosomal RNA they frequently, actively, 
are involved in the synthesis of ribosomes. They are one of the main component of the ribosome is ribosomal RNA and there another is ribosomal protein. So we say that ribosome is called as uh, ribonucleoprotein. Ribosome is known as ribonucleoprotein particle. Uh, this uh, one important thing uh, in this case is these ribosomal RNAs they have got catalytic role so ribosomal RNA they have got what they have got catalytic role catalytic role in ribosomes catalytic role that means they have got enzymatic uh, role in uh, ribosomes uh, for example we have uh, we have 23 23s ribosomal RNA in case of in case of uh, prokaryotes prokaryotic ribosome in case of prokaryotic ribosome this 23s ribosomal RNA is found in the large subunit it is found in the large subunit of ribosome it is found in here this is found in large subunit of ribosome and this uh, this another ribosome that is 28s ribosomal rna 28s ribosomal rna this is large it is found in larger larger subunit of eukaryotic ribosome it is found in larger subunit of eukaryotic ribosome Eukary eukaryotic ribosome and these these two types of rnas they act as peptidyl transferases in protein synthesis so this 23s ribosomal rna and 28s ribosomal rna they act as they are known as peptidyl transferases they are known as peptidyl transferases peptidyl transferases that means peptidyl what are the peptidyl transferases peptidyl transferases are ribozymes ribozymes ribo Zymes. What are ribozymes? Ribozymes are those enzymes which are made up of RNA. So, RNA having the catalytic property is known as ribozyme. RNA having the enzymatic property is known as ribozyme. Here, two uh, 23S ribosomal RNA and 28S ribosomal RNA uh, that is having a catalytic property that is known as peptidyl transferase and this peptidyl transferase it is one of the most important enzyme in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes it is involved in the elongation of polypeptide chain if uh, this enzyme would be missing then polypeptide um, elongation will not take place the, uh, we know that proteins are essential for both prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes so this uh, peptidyl transferase is involved in the elongation of polypeptide chain or simply we can say that it is one of the important enzymes significant enzymes in um, protein synthesis and this was uh, regarding the uh, different types of so uh, today we talked about uh, ribosomal RNA in case of ribosomal RNA I told you that uh, this is the most stable type of RNA it is an insoluble RNA and uh, it is the most uh, abundant type of RNA it constitutes about uh, 80% of the total cellular RNA and uh, this is uh, found in this uh, ribosomes. Ribosomes are simply ribonucleoprotein particles where we find ribosomal RNA and ribosomal proteins. Then we have different types of ribosomal RNAs that we have discussed in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes. These uh, uh, ribosomal RNA it is synthesized in the in the nucleolus and in the nucleus we have specific chromosomes what are called as they have got uh, specific regions those regions those genes are called as nuclear organizing regions which are actively involved in uh, ribosomal RNA synthesis then this ribosomal RNA it is stored in uh, these nucleus and also ribosome uh, assembly that is uh, uh, assembly of uh, smaller and larger subunit ribosome that occurs in the that occurs in nucleolus so nucleolus is known as ribosome factory ribosome factory nucleus is known as ribosome factory then we have this we have this we have already completed messenger rna transfer rna this was ribosomal rna and then other types of rnas are also present we have got other types of rnas for example we have 
other types of RNAs, other types of RNAs, other RNA types. For example, it is small, small nuclear nuclear RNA, small nuclear RNA. That is snRNA. You have heard the snRNA. Then we have uh, small nuclear RNA. Small nuclear RNA. Then we have got another type, small cytoplasmic RNA. Small cytoplasmic RNA. Small cytoplasmic RNA. This is then we have got another type small cytoplasmic RNA we have got another type that is micro RNA micro RNA miRNA what is called as miRNA and heterogeneous nuclear RNA heterogeneous nuclear RNA what is called as heterogeneous nuclear RNA HNRNA this is heterogeneous heterogeneous nuclear RNA heterogeneous nuclear RNA so what are these different types of uh, other types of RNAs in addition to this uh, messenger RNA in tRNA and and ribosomal RNA this uh, small nuclear RNA first we will discuss snRNA that is first one small nuclear RNA this small nuclear RNA, it is a small sized RNA. It is small sized RNA. As the name indicates, it is a small sized RNA. This, uh, it is found in nucleus. Location is nucleus. Nucleus. This is, as the name indicates, small nuclear RNA. It is size is small and it is found in nucleus. And it is involved in processing mRNAs. Involved in mRNA processing. It is involved in mRNA processing it is involved in mRNA processing that means uh, it is involved in post transcriptional processing of mRNA then we have got another one that is small nuclear RNA small nuclear RNA this small nuclear RNA it is found in nuclear nucleus nucleus it is found in nucleolus this small nuclear RNA it is found in nucleolus and this uh, small nuclear RNA it is also a small size as the name indicates this is actively involved in processing of ribosomal RNAs so this is actually involved in ribosomal RNA processing in nucleolus ribosomal RNA processing in nucleolus uh, nuclear nucleolus is actively involved in synthesizing uh, ribosomal rna so this ribosomal uh, small nuclear rnas are present in nucleolus and they are involved in processing ribosomal rna in nucleolus then we have got third one we have got another one that is small cytoplasmic rna this uh, uh, small uh, cytoplasmic RNA, small cytoplasmic RNA, it is a small size RNA, it is found in cytoplasm in a free state. It is found in cytoplasm in a free state and this is this type of RNA, it is uh, involved in processing of polypeptides. So it is actively involved in uh, polypeptide processing, polypeptide processing. It is actively involved in polypeptide processing. It is actively involved in uh, polypeptide processing. Then we have got another one that is called as micro RNA. Micro RNA. These micro RNAs are uh, present in. They are present in nucleus. They are present in micro RNAs are present in nucleus. They are involved in gene. They regulate gene expression they have role in gene regulation and gene expression during development differentiation and programmed cell death that means these micro rnas 
have role in they are involved in gene regulation they are involved in gene expression they are involved in gene regulation gene expression this microRNA this uh, microRNA is found in nucleus and they have role microRNA has a role in gene expression and gene regulation during uh, during development during development during development differentiation and programmed cell death and programmed cell death what is called as apoptosis apoptosis this programmed cell death that means the death of a cell in a programmed way uh, by per se it is called as apoptosis or simply programmed cell death uh, these uh, microRNAs they have role in they are involved in gene expression gene regulation which takes place during the uh, development of an organism during the differentiation of an organism and during the programmed cell death of an organism what is called as apoptosis uh, then we have another that is called as heterogeneous nuclear RNA this one heterogeneous nuclear RNA this heterogeneous nuclear RNA it is uh, uh, Pre mRNA, unprocessed mRNA. What is heterogeneous nuclear RNA? Heterogeneous nuclear RNA is unprocessed mRNA or pre mRNA. It is unprocessed RNA which has not been processed, which has not undergone post transcriptional modifications. Unprocessed mRNA, or we can say that, or pre mRNA. Pre mRNA. This uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA, this heterogeneous nuclear, why it is called as heterogeneous nuclear RNA? Because of the fact that this heterogeneous nuclear RNA, uh, it contains introns as well as exons. Mm. For example, we have this, what is heterogeneous nuclear RNA? This is heterogeneous nuclear RNA, it contains heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Heterogeneous means different, that means it contains this is for example this is intron this is exon so we have exon first exon second exon third exon fourth these shaded portion this is intron you consider them introns this is intron 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 these are introns this is intron these are introns so this uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA what is called as pre mRNA or unprocessed mRNA it contains uh, exons coding units as well as non coding units what are known as introns and then splicing takes place that is post transcriptional modification takes place and these uh, introns are removed from the transcript from the heterogeneous nuclear RNA transcript and exons are joined so we have this type that is we have from here to here we have exons this is from this point to this point from this end to this end we have we have, we have only exons because these shaded these shaded a portion here represents what introns they have been removed so this this was known as heterogeneous nuclear RNA it contains introns as well as exons but this one is contains only exons so we use the term mRNA here mRNA mRNA transcript so what is difference between mRNA and heterogeneous nuclear RNA the difference is that in the uh, the unprocessed mRNA or pre mRNA is known as heterogeneous nuclear RNA, uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA this heterogeneous nuclear RNA then undergoes modifications then undergoes processings and it becomes what it becomes mRNA for example we have here heterogeneous nuclear RNA for it contains introns as well as exons then it is um, introns are removed by means of splicing and exons are joined then this uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA uh, now can be called to this this uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA mRNA so this was the difference between heterogeneous nuclear RNA and uh, mRNA uh, 
so we have discussed these other types of the RNAs that is small nuclear RNA, small nuclear RNA, small cytoplasmic RNA, micro RNA and these uh, heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Hope you have understood. Thanks.